So is that he uh, weighing up for ESB, the 16 pounds pale malt? It's going to be our phase one. Phase two is and phase three profit. It was grinding in a homemade pasta maker. Very nice. Just do a great job on this extra special bit. I'm gonna flip my whole mill over. Right on. Yeah, so. so keeping it a grind. Gonna grind this shit. I'll grind that shit. Oh yeah. Look at that. Grind in the grind mill. Show me your awesome fucking thermometer. What's it say? 168.8. It's a little bit hot. That's where we want it. That's where you want it? Okay, that's our target temperature there. There's our grain mill. And if you guys want to see a video on how to build that pasta maker grain mill, I'll put it in the description. In the description box, a link to that. I have two videos on that. So, uh, anyway, make sure to... Your valve, your valve is open, pal. Make sure your valve's closed when you start your sparge. Or your mash, sorry. Yep. Yeah. Just let it piss, piss in there. Can you grab me my towel? We're do we're doing in. Yeah, the, going in here, mate. Getting I'm getting the getting that uh, mash water all in the grain. Paddling its ass. Getting it all in there. So fresh hop will emit. That is the name of the game for this ESB. But you got six ounces that you dehydrated off this same vine, right? Mm-hmm. Second year vine? That's right. What you want to do is you want to grab the hop by the base of the hop and you want to just simply pluck it off of the vine like that and you take it and you crunch it up and you Oh yeah, it's a good one, eh? You smell that? You smell that, eh? Yeah, it's, you know it's good, mate. Alright, that's uh, that's going to make a great extra special bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's perfect, bro. Mmm, mmm. Yeah, you know that one's good too, eh? Yeah. <laughs> so you're sparging, right? Yep. We went directly from mash to sparge. I skipped the Vorloff because Vorloffs are for pussies. Yeah, I know. That is... Straight out of the horse to mouth. Alright, and so now we got uh, our 10 gallon boil kettle. With 5 gallons of sparge water heating up on the gas stove with two burners under it. So that'll do the trick and then we'll... Uh, Start sparging. Yeah. 53 and a half liters of extra special beer. Check that out. Now that's an etch etching of a hop grenade you did there. Plus we got the uh, things you et etched in with a battery. So we know how much is in there. Plus we got the uh, thing on the side of the fermenter here, which is what we used to, to uh, sparge into. So uh, that coloration looks really good for the ESB. I'm thinking that's definitely going to be a nice amber, nice amber ale. And we did get the appropriate amount of fresh Willamette. We got UK Brambling Cross, two ounces of 6.3% alpha acid. And uh, I got Fuggles. And he's got a shitload of Fuggles. Fuggload. A fug load of fuggles. And so uh, we're going to let that come to boil here and then uh, we'll go to phase two, which is second hop edition. We got in a muslin bag. I missed the first edition right at, at uh, the beginning of the boil. So, a muslin bag full of the fresh hops here. Very methodically massaging the sack of. <laughs> Willamette. What else is in there? Just Willamette? Just Willamette. Just fresh hop Willamette. Uh, oh. 
So for our Roma hopping, we got the UK Brambling Cross. Oh hi there. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just smelling my hops for my 10 minute edition. Hope you don't mind. <laughs> Let me smell. Uh, What's it smell like? What do you think? It smells like... Uh, it smells good. Like dirty panties. But the good kind. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it smells like Goldings, but like fruitier. Like the, it does say that it's supposed to taste like lemon and black currant and hay. So, and it does. It smells a little bit fruitier than. You want to do the honors? It smells better than a 24-hour discharge. Let's do this. Let's hop this, ma. All right. And it's in the, it's in the um, kettle. I believe the bambling cross is what makes, it, t it takes just a bitter and it turns it into that extra special. Yeah, this is extra special for sure. This really adds the ES to the ESB, you know. Let's get all the crumbs in there. Word. So we just flamed out. Got the word chiller going. He's cleaning the the uh, hops off the side of the fermenter, the burnt hops. Like in 10 gallons of piss here, mate. It's <laughs> really as boring as piss. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hi there. I'm just sucking some wort out of my pot right now. I'm gonna fill this here fermenter up with fresh wort. Ooh. Oh, and he spits. That's good. Remember, part of brewing is cleaning up. Oh, hi there. I didn't see you back there. I'm just, I'm just cleaning my, my kettles because a big part of brewing is, is cleaning up when you're done, you know. You gotta clean up all your toys and get all the all the gunk off of that kettle and you know, it's really important. It'll really make your next brew session a lot easier. See you later. Hi guys. We're just back here. Just finished rinsing my yeast jar. And we're just gonna get the final crumbs of the oh fuck, I spilled it. <laughs> you got your Anyways. yeast all over the place. Here's your airlock. So we made a yeast starter with this uh, Sterling English Ale yeast because Vanilla Bryce here's had trouble with uh, English Ale yeast finishing at the uh, Gravity Heat So I thought, why not make a yeast starter? It's been in some dextrose and water for about two hours and give us a little better of a start and a little better of a finish, hopefully. So, uh, cheerio. Hi, I'm just gonna eat this here spaghetti squash, cause I'm a beagle! No, but let's be serious, when we're talking about English ales, we have to talk about beagles. Because, <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, beagles uh, come from England, and uh, we all know that English people and English ales and beagles <laughs> are the same thing. So, let's just move on to the yeast. You can just, just stop that clip. We'll so we've got a yeast starter here, we're going to dump it in, the extra special bitter. Dump, it, dump the yeast in the extra special bitter we is. Alright, hey, I'll make it nice and bitter. Hope, Hope you, you like, like the, the motherfucking, motherfucking movie! movie.